How y'all doing tonight? It's CJ Modo and I'm back. I'm just making a little quick video. I was just kind of missing y'all. Figured I'd stop by, see how y'all are doing. Found something I wanted to go over with you for when you get your Super 73 RX or your S2 or your R. It's your pre-ride safety check. Do not forget to do your pre-ride safety check, folks. All right, so what you gotta do? You wanna use the following checklist before each ride to verify your bike is safe to ride. Never operate your bike in the application for your phone at the same time. It's dangerous, multitasking. It's like texting and driving, and except for on a bicycle or a motorcycle or an electric bicycle, you get splattered on the side of the road if you're not paying attention to what you're doing, all right? Don't drink and drive this thing either unless you're doing it in a closed course, off-road, whatever you want to be doing. Check the condition of your tires to make sure your tread's in good condition, okay? Simple, folks. Maintain proper tire pressure between 27 and 30 PSI, okay? Pounds per square inch. I would go to about 28, 29, 30, keep it in the high end of that, because that'll eliminate uh, any type of, uh, if you hit a bump, you don't want your, your tube getting pinched or something like that. So just keep your PSI between 27 and 30 PSI, you'll be good there. And ensure your wheels are true and properly dished. I'm not sure what properly dished means, but true means that they're in balance. So your spokes are in balance. So if you really want to go the extra mile, take the wheels off, take it to a bike shop, have them take um your tires off and balance your wheels and then put the tires on and then balance your wheels again and they can get it perfect um balancing a wheel with spokes and making them true and stuff is really kind of challenging uh so yeah you might want to take it to a bike shop unless you really know what you're doing you start loosening up those spokes and tightening up spokes every time you do something to one spoke it does the opposite to the opposite side of the wheel you're just going to end up with some serious issues you're going to be real confused. You're going to be like, why didn't I listen to CJ Moto? Battery. Check that your battery is inserted securely. This is a big one. You got to lock the battery. You slide the battery onto the frame and then you have to lock it with the key. Okay? Yes, I know. I don't have the bike yet, but I read and I watch videos. You got to lock it with the key or it's going to fall off the bike. Y'all understand that? Do you want your battery to fall off the bike? If the answer is no, then listen to CJ Moto. All right. So yeah, check the charge status of the battery. Familiarize yourself with the battery charging and storage and best practices. Okay, you want to charge this thing every time you use it. You want to keep it charged. You don't want to get it wet. It's probably not waterproof. Once again, don't make me have to say it again, but you don't want to ride this thing off road because they told you in the warranty that the warranty is void if you take it off road because it's only meant for on road use. So even though they have videos of it jumping cool stuff and doing awesome things online, as soon as you try to do that yourself, then you're going to be out of a warranty, okay? Braking systems. You got to pull both brake levers, okay? Make sure you're pulling both brake levers because you got a front and a rear brake. Be careful with that front brake. A front disc brake will put you on your ass if you're not careful. Okay? So any of this stuff, if you can't figure it out, the cool thing is this thing's kind of not a motorcycle and kind of not a bicycle. So you could take it to a motorcycle shop or a bicycle shop, which is really neat. You could take it to either one because it doesn't really fall into one category completely. Lighting, check if your front and rear lights are working properly. Make sure your brake lights are working if you care about that. Make sure your horn's working because you want to have that horn. That's simple stuff. This is the biggest thing right here. You all ready? This is an electronic bicycle. Verify the wiring on the frame is secure and free from any moving parts that may damage the wiring. When you're turning the handlebars, you don't want any type of strain on the wiring. You want there to be plenty of slack. You want to make sure everything's routed nice and smooth. You guys have to put the handlebars on when you receive the bike. So if you don't know what you're doing and you have a history of screwing things up that are electrical, then get one of your friends that isn't, uh, that has more finesse in that area to help you put this thing together so you don't have a $3,000 paperweight. Okay? 
It looks cool, but it doesn't look cool enough for it to just sit in your living room all the time and not be ridden because you were too impatient to find somebody that knows what the hell they're doing. All right? Display. Check that your display turns on and functions properly. Last but not least, kickstand. Make sure the kickstand works and that it's tightly secured to the bike. All right? Hope you all enjoyed that video. Grab yourself a nice cold Modelo. Have a good evening. It's, th it's uh, Wednesday night, soon to be Thursday. Hope everyone's doing amazing. Shout out to Super 73. Please uh, put a my bike in a stronger box when you ship it so it doesn't get damaged. And we will see you all next time. CJ Moto out.